We're doing so good. Let's do exam two review problem number two. All right, what do we have over here? It says find the reactions at B and D. This looks like a 2D reaction problem. Can we do it? Okay. So, hmm, I don't know. Step one, can you find the reactions for this crazy thing here? Okay, here we go. Johnny Weeks also looks at this problem and says like, hey man, you got a pin connection there and a pin connection there. That's two unknowns and two unknowns. That's four unknowns. Can't do it. Okay? But we're not that, right? We're not Johnny Weeks sauce. We can do it because there's a sneaky thing going on here. What is this curved member CD? What is that? Okay? Hmm. It's pinned at both ends. There's no force in the middle. It's a two-force member. It's a two-force member. Okay? And so what's going to happen there? Well, how does the force get from C to D, right? Again, if I have a curved bar, whoop, it goes way over there and it comes back to you and you're holding the other end of it. Ready? I'm going to pull straight to you. To me, rather. Where are you going to go? Are you going to go, whoo, around the bar? No, you're coming straight to me, right? So how does the force get transmitted? Well, I'll tell you. It gets transmitted along a line like that, okay? So if I look at point D, right, this whole system is, if I pull down on this, do you think that's going to be intention or compression? I think that if I pull down this, that's going to go down, and when that goes down, it's going to stretch that. I think it's going to be intention, right? So I think it's going to pull on joint D. So if I am point D, right, if I am this hinge connection, what am I going to feel? I'm going to feel that, and I'm going to call it FDC. That's what I'm going to feel. And I know what angle it is, right? If that's 75, then, then it tells me that that's 75 and that's 75. It's 45 degrees. Okay? Now, if I'm this bar here, what am I, what's going on? Okay, here's the bar. These are called, this is going to blow your mind, free body diagrams. You should draw them. Try, try it out, okay? Okay, so here's point B. What's going on at point B? Pin connection. B, Y, B, X. What's going on over here? Whoop. 80 newtons. And what's going on over here? Well, I'll tell you what's going on over there. At 45 degrees, there is a force, F, D, C. That's that little tension member up there pulling on me, okay? Um, let's see, if this guy goes to the left, then BX has to go to the right, and then BY, does he go up or down? I don't know, because I got something down, I got something up. I don't know. So, you know what I think? I think I'll just guess. I'm just going to guess up. If I solve for BY and I get a negative... Then it was the other way, right? No big deal. The numbers don't change, okay? So what they're asking for, what they're asking us for is what is BY, what is BX, and what is FDC? That's what they're asking us for over here. Because the reaction at point D is FDC, right? That's what that is. So we can solve everything they're asking us for with this one free body diagram, okay? So here we go. Let's break this into components here. And I've got F, D, C, sine, 45. And I've got F, D, C, cosine, 45. Okay? So here we go. One equation is going to get for me some of the moments about point B. Okay? This being positive. So I have the 80 over here, which rotates me. Ooh, that's, that's positive. Times how far away from B over to 80? 250. That's Spanish for 250, okay? And then the cosine of 45, let's say that guy rotates me. Ooh, that's positive too, isn't it? Plus uh, F, D, C, cos 45 times how far away? If the force is in the X, then the distance in the Y, 60. Okay? And then the last one is this FDC, and he rotates me. Oh, he's negative. Minus F 
DC sine 45 times how far away? Well, it would be this distance here, right? Which is 90, okay? Okay, so only unknown I got there is FDC, so that's good stuff. So what do I get on? Clear, clear. Um, hmm, okay. I get uh, 0.707 times 60 minus 0 0.707 times 90. And I get negative 21.21. So I'm going to move that to the other side. So I get 21.21 FDC is equal to 80 times 250. 80 times 250. Whoo, that's a lot. 20,000. So FDC is equal to, divided by 20, 1,000. 1,000 um, pounds, right? No, no, this is in Newtons, goofy. It's in Newtons, Newtons, okay? So would you think that 80 Newtons over here would make 1,000 over there? That's a lot, isn't it? But it's very far away, isn't it? So force times distance, it's very far away. Okay, so now I got that guy. He's a thousand. Can I get these now? Oh, that's easy, isn't it? Sum of the forces in the X. Sum of the forces in the Y. Okay. And in the X, what do I have? I have BX. And I have minus FDC, which is a thousand. Cos 45. And in the Y, I have BY. Minus 80 plus plus 1,000 sine 45. I hate to tell you this, but I think I guessed BY the wrong way, but that's okay. Okay, 1,000 times 0 0.707 BX equals 707 Newtons. And BY is 707 and then plus 80 so 707 minus 80 i got negative 627 so by equals negative 627 newtons okay so what do i do about that negative you know most of the time you can just write a note and say assumed wrong direction on free body diagram. That's it. Okay? Man, that's easy. But you would have been truly stumped on that problem had you not recognized that that guy is a two-force member. Okay? Because you've been pin connection, pin connection, and you've been a world of hurt with four unknowns, right? Okay? Be watching for the sneaky stuff. If you have a problem and you have too many unknowns, you probably missed the two-force member. You need to go looking for him. Where are you? Where are you? Okay? See you next time.